Mona. Mona. I'm imagining that you're seeing Lisa with me here in the art room, boys and girls. How many of you have taken the time to tell your family about our chant of Mona Lisa and what it means to us? Maybe, maybe. Ah, today's lesson in this video clip is for our second and third graders. Now, if you are a younger kiddo that's watching this, you may also do this, but you're just going to need to do it on a separate piece of paper, okay? My second and third graders, you all received a nice big sheet of paper that looks like this with many little frames on it, okay? It says on it, the tiny gallery of gratitude. Let's talk about that word gratitude. What does gratitude mean? What does it mean to you? What do you think it means on this paper? If you are thinking that it means something that you're thankful for or that you're feeling blessed for, you are right on. I want you boys and girls to do sketches. In fact, I want you to do thumbnail sketches inside of these tiny frames for me of different things that you are thankful for. So for example, it says draw a rainbow. Now that's not a very big space, is it? So you're gonna practice sketching lightly about the size of your thumb inside of that little frame, okay? And you're gonna work your way around. This one says, draw your family. Now do you think I wanna see stick people? Maybe not stick people, but they're gonna need to be pretty simple to fit in that space, right? Then here it says, draw something that makes you happy. Draw someone that helps you. That one's a little bit bigger, right? Draw a very tall person. This one might kind of be silly, all right, friends? Draw your favorite book. Draw a flower pot. Now, third graders, I'm going to challenge you. Foreground, middle ground, background, okay? I know it's a small space, but if you're doing light artist hands, you can still give me a lot of detail and nice tiny thumbnail sketches. So here's what's going to happen. Second graders, when you are done with this page, you're going to flip it over. I want you to design your own funky frame all the way around the edge. And then I want you to choose one of those thumbnail sketches to draw inside the larger frame. You are welcome to add color to it um, if you would like to as well, okay? But you're going to work on the back of that paper. Now third graders, I'm going to challenge you to go into your third grade sketchbooks into the free draw section. And I would like you to draw a funky, fun frame around the outside edges and then choose one of your um, pictures that you made that you're grateful for inside of that large frame. You might even want to, third graders, take this paper, fold it in half, put the glue just on one side, a dot is a lot, a line is just fine, just on one side, and glue it into that sketch sketchbook. Let's use our imagination for a second. Do, do, do. I'm going to my free draw. I put five dots of glue, glued it down on this side, and then maybe on the other side, I go ahead and I draw that funky frame, and I choose one of those thumbnail, thumbnail drawings to draw on this side, okay? All right, boys and girls, enjoy the lesson for today. Ready, set, go.